It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. It is our mission to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today will be no exception to that rule. You can follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel that you can subscribe to is at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And don't forget to visit our website for the 24-hour stream at OBN Radio. Dot com. And for those who have a smart device, all you have to do is say, hey, play the latest episode of the Mike Prince show. And just like that, you will have everything that you need. With all that being established, let us jump right into today's episode. Well, we heard from a very animated, enlightening, informative Coach Heist Northern, former head football coach of the Prairie View A&M University Panthers, also former defensive coordinator at Texas Southern, and it was really, really good to uh, catch up with him, and we're looking forward to more episodes and breakdowns of the Southwestern Athletic Conference football season for the 2023 campaign, and all the stories that will be coming with it and the information and the knowledge that we'll gain from his very existence. Uh, Real, real good, man. And we heard, of course, from Coach Bubba McDowell. We heard from offensive coordinator Mark Frederick, defensive coordinator, none other than The Rock himself, Alvin Fossilman, and all the other coaches throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And that is really what it's all about, us trying to keep you informed, ears to the ground, eyes wide open, and head on a swivel. And with all of that being established and said, the next head on a swivel approach is going to be what will be the next move for Prairie View A&M University as they are still in quest of an athletic director to fill the void for the 2023 campaign and beyond. Of course, we know it was a seesaw up and down, in and out. Ashley Robinson re-establishing himself with Jackson State. So now it leaves the gate wide open. Who will be next? What is the forecast for Prairie View? Of course, we want to keep our eyes wide open and ears to the ground of anything that will be breaking. Be sure... So follow me on X Twitter or Twitter X at the Mike Prince show for the latest information in that regard. Well, with everything that is coming up, camps are opening up. Some are opening today as it is August 1st. Some will be opening within the next two days. Needless to say, football is in the air and we cannot wait to get this thing up and running. We're going to keep it coming right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. want to also remind you guys that we are exactly 30 days away from the start of our listening campaign. And you got a way that you guys can have your cake and eat it too, but in this case, popcorn and eat it too. Uh, Part of our listening partner drive that we do each year from September 1st to the 30th is to help us raise funding to help produce shows, help produce games, and everything else that helps the moving forward of the Open Mic Broadcast Network. But this year we want to do a little bonus for you if you would. We're going to ask you guys if you could help us and help yourselves at the same time. We have a popcorn fundraising event starting September 1st through the 4th that can help us maintain what we'll need to carry us out throughout the rest of the year. We have games already scheduled for your listening pleasure in and out of the local area, and we cannot wait to get these games up and running for you. We got our staff and and broadcast teams in place and ready to go so stay tuned as we get ready to launch the popcorn drive starting september 1st right here at the open mic broadcast network and for every dollar that we raise through this popcorn sale we get the key 50 cent to help us continue to build 
and provide you the quality reporting and broadcasting that you've grown accustomed to here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. As we mentioned, uh, Prairie View still in search of an athletic director. Where will they go from here? Who would be willing to dare to step back into that realm of this athletic director search for Prairie View A&M University? Depending on who you ask, where you ask, and how you ask, Prairie View has built somewhat of a reputation of not really wanting to be that person that steps out because it appears that these searches have been, for lack of a better term, predetermined on who they're liking. And most people who would probably qualify to do a valid job have become a bit gun shy of throwing their name in the hat for fear that if they're not chosen, that it will cause collateral damage on their current place of employment, which is totally understandable. But now that this void is still here, some things that are going to have to be looked at is you're still going to need a person who I believe should have some experience. We're going to need a person who is going to know how to raise money. We're going to need a person who is going to have a proven track record of being an effective leader, not just in the leadership role, but an effective leader. And we're going to keep our eyes, as we mentioned, wide open as they continue to bridge the gap. Don't forget, we are now 31 days away from Labor Day 2023, Prairie View and Texas Southern, the 38th edition of the Labor Day Classic. And we'll be right here from PNC Stadium, giving you all you need, what you need, how you need, as the Panthers will go on to try to make it nine in a row. Will they have the fuel in the tank to make it nine in a row? We shall see in 31 days. The clock is running, and we're running right along with it. Don't forget to follow me on X Twitter, Twitter X, at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to that YouTube channel, and check out the 24-hour stream at obnradio.com. My time has come where I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, and as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.